On this Memorial Day weekend, a group of people from 43 different countries became American citizens. Diane Cho introduces us to the new Americans welcomed at a naturalization ceremony today, including a U.S. Air Force member. He's among the last in his family to become a U.S. citizen. It feels great. On this Memorial Day weekend, Staff Sergeant Miguel Rodriguez proudly walked across the stage here in front of George Mason's home. It's just a great honor, you know, um, being here. His family is originally from El Salvador. He says he joined the Air Force several years ago to provide a better future for his family. But now he says it's taken on a new meaning in his life. It's an honor to serve this country. This country has given me the most opportunities that I wouldn't there to dream having if I was in El Salvador. On Saturday, he joined dozens of people from 42 countries, including Germany and South Korea, and becoming some of the nation's newest citizens, as many prepared to honor the American soldiers who paid the ultimate sacrifice. It was quite moving today for me, as a former military member, to uh, be able to come and to see the wide number of countries represented. For others who took the oath of allegiance, holding a certificate of citizenship has a different meaning. Carmen Anderson has lived in the U.S. for more than 40 years, but now she'll finally be able to vote. I never was able to wear one of those I voted stickers. <laughs> in Lorton, Diane Show, ABC 7 News.